My name is Beth Hiley here at Spiel 2012, and I'm sitting with Keith Bloom from Griffin Games. Yes, yes. you're Griffin Games right Thank now. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and we are looking at, now I pronounce this Zongxi. That's the as way I, I did, but as I understand it, right. when, when Rick was in China, we have a colleague, uh, China branch, and I believe it's Zongsha. So we'll, we'll both be corrected, but yeah, I don't I'm feel all bad about, about pronouncing That's, it wrong. Speaking about being corrected, <laughs> remind me of a grammar story here, but we'll get into Zongsha first. <laughs> all right. Because yeah, there's one teacher to another. <laughs> I got a vent <laughs> about whole. Uh, don't get me started. <laughs> what I can say is we just recently got word that Zongsha won the uh, Games Magazine Strategy Game of the Year. So we're very excited about that. It just feels like it and deserves a proper I have a sneaky suspicion we might have a banner run on Board Game Geek about no, announcing just, that very fact. And this one actually has a lower price down to From? 70 down to 55. Excellent. Everyone likes to hear so, that. <laughs> yes. And this one we should show. Yes, I, I was I've mentioning The insert before. that you were enjoying so I, much. I am this a big fan of organizing here. and everything fits just so, and this is a game, having um, put this one in my own backpack a lot, I can say does the, it stays put where they are supposed to be. We like that. Be. We like that. Yeah, one of the other things that's really neat about this, I don't know if we can zoom in, but I think the blue oh, yeah. one's a really good candidate as well. These pieces actually, um, the way the mold is done, uh, it's, as I understand it, it's a dual injection, and so you have two different Swirlies. colors that come in. One, yeah, yeah, that's a perfect one. And I think if you see the bottom, you can kind of see the differentiation there. And so um, the idea there was to simulate the flaws or veins that you might see, in fact, like a jade piece, mm. something like that. Um, and I think that effect is really cool. So that's, we've actually had a customer, I, I recall specifically a discussion with a customer, it's like, you know, there's something wrong with this. It's like, actually, yes. no. <laughs> Hope you still enjoy the game, but that was intended. You know? That's just um, the way it's supposed to Kevin be. Kevin did a nice job on this. This is an excellent um, worker placement game. Love the artwork um, Cyril did for this. And uh, Rick did an excellent job bringing this to fruition. This was uh, a game that was in development uh, with Face to Face, which we acquired. Yes. And um, Rick did an outstanding job wrapping this up and taking it home. I thought it came together really nicely and delighted it won the award. This is a game I really, um, a couple of the other games I'll show too, I feel like one of the challenges that occurs in game design is the length of the game being appropriate for the type of game it is. And I feel like this game is exactly the right length. And I'll be able to say that about a couple others, too. <laughs> but um, I think it's a, a rewarding experience that plays well. Yeah, definitely. So. I mean, I've, I've played this personally a few times, and it definitely, you know, the turn play goes by. You're never yeah. having much downtime at all. Right. So. Yeah, the idea of the worker placement, I think, is a big deal, right? Deciding where you want to send your master, where you send your apprentice. So, absolutely. Absolutely. When I think, as we were talking about before off camera, too, that there's plenty of tutorial videos. Yes, on this. again. Uh, so now, is that the one that a special young lady did, or is uh, it yes, somebody yes, else again? Yes, All right, no, finally. This one was me. Okay, good. Let's <laughs> not be in trouble again. But, right. um, yes, yeah, so I was just thinking, like, whoa, we could even talk about how to place workers. But there are excellent resources out there. Yeah, I think so, friends. based yeah. on the timeline. So this is good. Just let people know it's out. All um, right. The war down. No, oh, the box. We gotta talk about the box, which is yes, about you had a grammar story three, with three this millimeters. As well. That is a How massively thick yeah, this, box. Yeah, this is um, same style as pastiche, and so we showed the insert and whatnot. This is you know, high-end production. Um, I think we were branding it archival quality, um, a museum quality type piece. So the the board's nice and thick. These components, you know, the, yeah, the tiles yeah. are or uh, and nice. probably the bag. yeah, or probably one of my most favorite first turn player markers ever, <laughs> which is this uh, awesome Buddha. There we go. So we got. I look our, a little bit too much like him. He's um, <laughs> belly kind of. So this is our bag for some of the tiles, and then that is the first turn Buddha, which is pretty fabu in my opinion. <laughs> 
So, well, that like is a, a very quick walkthrough, or at least uh, some interesting details about Zong, Zongxi, which we are now re pronunciating as Zongsha. Zongsha. Yeah. Congratulations, Captain. <laughs>